Hi, everybody. This is John Perel with Turn Zero. Thank you for joining this live demonstration today. Um, and I have the, the, the privilege to take you guys through it. So I'm excited for our conversation. And really to that point, just to set a quick agenda, the purpose of the call today is to go through a live demonstration of the Churn Zero customer success platform. And what I hope you'll able to be walking away with is, is really getting an understanding of who is Churn Zero, what does Churn Zero do, and how would Churn Zero benefit me? So those are the questions that I hope to answer throughout this call today. And so for the first question, who is Churn Zero? We are a customer success platform helping subscription-based businesses fight churn, expand current accounts, increase product adoption, and optimize the customer experience. And these are just some of the customers that we work with, and we're really focused on B2B SaaS-based businesses. And the impact that our customers typically see is, is that we help them increase their customer retention, we help them make their team more efficient by automating a lot of the menial tasks, as well as optimize the customer experience and in turn do things like decrease time to value or decrease time it takes to onboard new customers. And so as we go through the demonstration today, I am gonna do my best acting to pose as a fictitious CSM whose name is Valerie McClure. And she works at this fake company called Marketing Pony. So we're gonna go through the demo today from the day in the life of how would a CSM whose name is Valerie use Churn Zero to manage her customers. And so this is the Churn Zero customer success platform. And really what we want to solve for is, is that we typically hear CSMs, they're either trying to work out of spreadsheets to manage their customers, or they end up trying to hack their CRM instance to fit their workflows. And those are really two things that we just do not want to have happen. And so Churn Zero, we want to be the platform for a customer success manager where they can manage everything that they need to do with their customers from the renewal process from the onboarding process to the adoption process and everything in between. We also want to be the one-stop shop for them where we don't want to have the CSM have to bounce around from CRM to email to a ticketing system to a financial system. We, Turn Zero, want to connect with all of your different systems to pull all those data points in so the CSM can keep and, and stay inside of Turn Zero. So with that being said, when I log into Turn Zero now, we have a calendar integration so I, as the CSM, can understand I have four customer meetings today. And we can also see things like upcoming renewals or even renewals that are due. But the nice thing is, is that I can take action directly from the calendar. So if I had my welcome call with WiseGuard and I want to go ahead and log my notes or maybe create myself a follow-up task or even send a customer follow-up email, I could do it all right from the calendar. The other thing that Trend Zero is going to start to help your team do is, is understand which of their customers need attention. And so the value of using Trend Zero is that we're going to start to auto-generate you and the team tasks based off of two different types of triggers. One trigger can be a time-based trigger, which are things like, hey, you have a customer that has a renewal coming up in the next 90 days, so we're auto-generating you this task. The other one can be more around behaviors, which are things like, hey, you have a customer that hasn't used a feature in the last 30 days, you have a customer that gave you a low NPS score, or maybe you have a customer that just hasn't logged in in the last 90 days. And for CSMs, it's a quick and easy way to start to prioritize their day to say, hey, you know what, let me start to focus on my customers that maybe have the lower churn risk, or I'm sorry, the higher churn risk, and focus on those tasks first, and then work my way down the list. And speaking of churn scores, you know, part of the value of churn zeros is that we're gonna start to create a health score for all of your customers so you can quickly understand which of them need your attention and why do they need your attention. So in this example, you can see that I'm managing 183 accounts of which there's 88 that are healthy. And there's another seven of mine that have a high churn risk of leaving me. So now I, I'm aware that, hey, there's seven customers that I'm personally managing that need some attention. The last thing I wanna point out on the homepage is that, is there's that a lot of customization. And so me as a CSM, I have the ability to see really whatever it is that I want to care, that I care about or even just track some of my key KPIs. So I can see things like show me my customers that are currently going through the onboarding process, show me my customers that have an expansion opportunity tied to them, or maybe just show me a specific segment of customer, like just my gold or just my enterprise accounts. And as you can see, I have 44 gold customers, and I can see more information about these customers down here below. 
But just for today and demo purposes, I want to focus on one of the customers that I'm personally managing, whose name is Autism Aware. So as I click into this account, here's where I can get that 360 degree view of everything that I need to know about my customer. And this page is great if you're preparing for a QBR for a customer, or if you're preparing for a check-in call for the customer. Once again, you don't have to bounce around from all these different systems to see what's going on with this account. We have access to all the data points here. So as I'm at my customer's account page, I can see things like, like subscription-based information, maybe number of licenses that they purchased for, with us, as well as any other important details about this customer. And so once again, we do want to be that, that centralized master record. And so we can connect with all your different systems to pull these data points in. A common question that we get asked is, is that, can we push this data back to the CRM, traditionally like a Salesforce or a HubSpot? And absolutely. So we do have a bi-directional sync with, I think it's like over 20 different CRMs right now. As I scroll down this ribbon, this is giving me additional details about my customer. So the next thing I can see is, is things like support ticketing information. So if, if I'm about to call them, I'm well aware, hey, they have two open support tickets. Let me do some research about these. I can see invoicing history or pending invoices. Um, once again, just designed to be that centralized record. Another big data point that we're gonna have is, is that we can connect with your SaaS platform to pull real-time usage data out of it. And this is really good for a CSM because now I understand, okay, what has my customer been doing inside of our SaaS platform in the last, in this example, 90 days? And so as I scroll down, I can see a list of all the different features that we're tracking my customer. And so maybe we wanna understand, hey, are they logging in? Are they using feature A? feature B, feature C, feature D, and so on and so forth. And the value to the CSM here is it's twofold. One, we can see, has my customer, have they fully adopted the platform? In this example, they haven't started to use these bottom four features, which could give me the opportunity to call the customer and just educate them on these overlooked features because that means they could get even more value out of our platform than they're currently getting. The other, the other thing it's doing is, is that it's showing, is my customer's usage, is it trending up over time or is it declining over time? And so actually, as you see here, as I toggle over this, I can see that my customer, they've logged in 79 more times in this 90-day window than they did in the previous 90-day window. So these are all pretty good signs of, of increased adoption. As I scroll down, we can track things like time spent in application, as well as down to each individual user at my customer account. And so this is a quick and easy way to start to identify, okay, who are my power users? Who are people like Crystal here who are doing the most in the system, who are spending the most time in the platform? Versus who are people maybe like John at the bottom of the list, who I as the CSM, maybe I need to spend some more time with him because he doesn't seem to be using it nearly as much as his colleagues are. As I scroll up, and just move across the ribbon here. And once again, I can still see any open tasks or future tasks with my customer, as well as all my previously logged notes. I can see all my emails that have been sent to my customer or received back. And then the last thing I wanna show is, is the churn score of my account. And so as a CSM, if you're managing 10 accounts, 50 accounts or 100 accounts, the churn scores are a quick and easy way to understand which of my customers are healthy, green, and happy versus which of my customers are red and at risk and need some attention. And so as I look at my customer account, I can see that they currently have a churn score of a two. And two important things to point out here is that one, we do churn scores, which just simply means the lower number is the better number. That's why you see that they have a score of a two and they're very healthy with us. The other thing to point out is that the segment that this customer belongs to is the enterprise segment. And so Churn Zero allows you to create different sets of factors for different segments of customers. And so this specific customer, they're getting scored as an enterprise customer. And so as I scroll down, I can get an understanding of why do they have the score that they have. And so in this example, we're scoring them based off of things like what NPS score are they giving us? We're scoring them based off of some sort of usage-based metric. Hey, are they logging in at least 10 times this month? We can score them based off of where they are within a journey, as well as, you know, because this is an enterprise account of mine, what's my own sentiment? You know, what's my own subjective input that I want to score this account as? And then even maybe around support ticketing too. 
And the thing that we want to do with these factors is that we want to apply a weight to each of them. And it's a way to show, okay, which of these factors do we want to have more impactful on the overall churn score versus which of the factors do we still want to score them based off of, but maybe not have it as impactful as some of these other statistics. And the nice thing about churn zeros is that for maybe our SMB segment, we can use an entirely different set of factors with an entirely different weighting metrics. And so there still is a lot more to the platform itself. There's things around segmentation. There's things around playbooks, which are automated cadences to be engaging with your customers when something is happening, as well as journey management, which is just a way to start to track to ensure that your customers are achieving the outcomes or achieving the milestones that we need them to be hitting. Uh, but just from an overview, this is everything I really wanted to cover today. And so I, I hope everybody found this, this as a helpful um, time. And you know, if you'd like to learn some more information, please feel free to reach out and happy to dive deeper into Churn Zero. All right, thank you for your time.